Now, what a way to start the day. We've got some fantastic food, some Ainsty Ales as well, which are going to come to. I've got Peter Higginson, who's the executive chef at York, to my right. The man to my left needs no introduction, the wine <laughs> tipster. Uh, Peter, first of all, though, Hello. you're the executive chef here at York. Yeah. What, what does that mean, your, your day, your week, your year entails, Peter? Well, we are, we've actually only raced in 18 days. My, my role is organising, ordering, ensuring that the hygiene's correct, Everything that we need to operate on a daily basis is ordered and in place so my head chef and my team of chefs can all then produce the food for, for the customers. Uh, now, Michael Shinners and I have been up at York about a, a month or so ago looking at what goes into a race meeting behind the scenes and in particular on the catering side. Goodness me, there's, there's a lot more that goes into it than I initially thought. I've got to say, you must have had your work cut out the last month or so. Yeah, we start ordering and pre-ordering food over a month ago and slowly start building up and get deliveries daily. So like a crabs or oysters come in every single morning fresh. Our burgers come in from the end of the race course, from a local supplier, they come in every single day. You mentioned that fine, delicious seafood, and I know that on the first day, I was told, oh, we've got some wonderful food for you to sample, some some lobster, some fine wine. Passad got it all, Neil Phillips, didn't well, he? Well, he did. I mean, Tom, you're, you're sounding really jealous, but look what we've got coming up. I, you know, I've been, I've had a, as usual, I'm having a great time. The lobster was fantastic, and actually yesterday, I went up to the Ebor restaurant as well, to that beautiful buffet they've got up there as well. I've just been having a fantastic time. Quality of food on course is absolutely amazing. It's, a, it's a, another tough day in the, the world of Neil Phillips. <laughs> I've got to say, I like my seafood and my fine wine, but I can't beat an ale with a burger and a bit of curry as well, because that, yeah. that ultimately that's me through and through. Should we start with the Ainsty Ales yes. then? I know that Peter, you use this in a lot of the cooking. You know all about this as well. Uh, we'll right. just take you through them. We're going to try some of the Ainsty Angel, which is a pale ale, which is a nice light one, 3.7%, but we've got a, another few types here as well. Yeah. They use a bit of alliteration always with the Ainsty yes, Ales. Well, actually, we've got this flummoxed farmer, which I love the title of there as well. A bit, you know, just in terms... What I like is the range of ABVs as well. So mm. anybody who wants to have a sort of 3.7, we've got it here, have a nice session beer. But also, they've got their wonderful best as well, Bantam Best there as well. So they've got a great range. And again, it's great stuff. What I love is all the stuff we have here in terms of local supply. Mm. And they're really growing. It's lovely the way they, of course, use this beer, their beers here. Yeah, this is brewed by Andy Harrington just a couple of miles away. In fact, we, the Racing UK cameras, I think, last year were down there. There to, to see the brewery he's got, which is like a converted warehouse. He's done a magnificent job with it. It's stunningly done, and you use a lot of this in the, in the cooking yeah. as well. We use it from, uh, f- from our stews and our pies through to uh, our chutney that we produce at the beginning of the year, um, and we, we make that in one big batch, and that lasts us all year, and we put the uh, Ainsty Ales in there, and then we actually use one that has a slight chocolate, chocolatey note, and we use that in desserts as well. A beer and a dessert? In a chocolate and hazelnut sponge pudding, which goes down really, really well. well you can go the right the way through with a chutney well, starter, right the way through. You can do the, yes. whole, the whole thing and drink with it as well. Well, I think it's really interesting, because we talk about people actually, do one of the things this morning is actually having beer with food. Yeah. Come on, why not? We love it. So this is the lighter one. This is the pale ale. I'm personally a big fan of a pale ale, but I know a lot of people like a, a sort of more uh, regular bitter, if you like, but... but but this covers the lot, really, doesn't it? Does. It? It, gives, it gives the customers the full range or the full options of, of what they like to drink. Right, What of what? so I wouldn't normally... Would you smell this, Neil? Absolutely, you've got to Go smell it. And you want that lovely freshness and that sort of hoppy character coming through. But what you get is almost that sort of fruitiness is there as well. You can talk about fruit on mm. beer as well, that sort of citrus character. And when you go in... We've got to go in, come I on think. Now, come, come on, on boys, then. we're going in. Because that is Ooh, that's really, refreshing. really refreshing really crisp lovely finish bit of hoppiness there bit of that fruit character there as well and as you're saying you know we really like this style of beer in this country right now and i love it and and that's a point actually that that neil touches upon there because you, you want the variety now it's not just a case of your normal lagers people are drinking they're drinking the hoppier beers more and more and more bespoke and independent breweries the specialist beers people are really after now and it's really on trend ah is that all right i'm gonna have one more sip about that then i'm gonna stick it stuck in some going, food he's going right in there i don't blame mm. it it's, it's beautiful and i just think you know that's so refreshing and actually we're doing a lot of stuff now about talking about beers with food and matching and why not because you've got the range i had two of the flummox farmers yesterday as well and they're absolutely <laughs> delicious now tell me about the food we've got in front of me here because we've got a burger and we've got the curry as well but it's not just any burger because you're very big here on uh, York on locally sourced produce. Yeah, it's really important. The customers now want to know where food comes from, 
how it's reared, what farm it's actually from, because po possibly some people that come to this race course actually know the farmers that actually produce the food. Mm. Uh, and also it reduces a carbon footprint. But um, the burger is produced literally at the end of the race course by a local butcher. He produces our burgers, our gluten-free burgers, our sausage. We have a special little mini chorizo and pork sausage, Ooh. which is stunning. Um, and also then all the pork pies he makes. And this he is Jed Bell's pies? Jed Bell's pies. Uh, Award-winning Jed Bell's Award pies. Award-winning, yeah. And they're I mean, they're about over there, aren't they're they? Literally at the end of the race course, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could, yeah. I'd, I'd struggle to throw a stone yeah. that far, but, we, but they're not far away. Pretty close. And again, Lee is fantastic. He delivers every day to us, mm. and his products are... are the best. Peter, you're going to have to help me. I, can you cut it? Because yeah. I'm going to look like an idiot yeah. if I try and wrap my mouth around that. I'm going to struggle. And actually, Tom, one other thing as well for Peter too is, is actually the fact you're very clear here about what is suitable for vegetarians, what is gluten-free. It's really clear on course here for everybody. And that's, a, that's great, I think. We have to be really careful about allergens today um, because customers, again, are very, very discerning and, and want to know exactly what's in their food. Right, I'm good. Neil, come, yeah, come on. on. There you go. There you we go. We're, we're going. Look, look at this. Do. He's going right in here. But look at that. I mean, I have to say the quality of what I've been tasting here at York has been absolutely fantastic, and the detail and presentation. And what you need to do as well, Thomas, I think do a bit of beer pairing as well. Come on. He's going in there. <laughs> He's gone everywhere. But the meat is such good quality. Yes. You can taste that. And the cheese is local as well. Yes, the cheese is a Yorkshire cheese. The tomatoes are grown local. The rocket's grown local at Thirsk. Everything is locally sourced uh, through our vegetable supplier who's really, really prominent about finding local ingredients. That is a proper burger. Love Jeb Bell, does our Lee Bell absolutely nailed that. Brilliant. And, and the curry, as far as the curry goes, now, this is a vegetarian curry, a but veg I suppose you've got to do that, haven't you? You've got to provide yeah. lots of different food yes. for, for all different types. Yeah. It's a vegetarian curry. We do the same curry without the paneer um, for vegans, um, but it's a roasted chestnut mushroom and paneer curry with uh, onion barges and uh, turmeric rice. Right, come on, Neil. I'm Here we go. In, I'm Peter, going, I'm sorry, we, we haven't even got you a fork, but you don't mind, do you? <laughs> You've tried it before, you know what you're doing, don't you? right in, come on. I love a bit of paneer. Here we go. Oh. Paneer, I don't know what it is, but paneer is so good in a curry. Yeah, it, it just absorbs the flavour. Mm. So you actually, we make the curry, let it stand for an hour or so, and then the flavours really go into the paneer. And as far, I'm going to pair that with some beer. As far as where people get this, this is available downstairs from downstairs where we are? Downstairs in uh, Ebor Bistro, right. which is just below us, where, we're, where we are at the moment. And that's served from uh, from lunchtime right through till we close. Oh God, so that's a yeah. good way to start the day. Uh, isn't it? See, I look after you, Tom. I really look after you. That curry is beautiful, and it just shows you, vegetarian-wise, what you can have as well. Mm. Great with that beer too. Peter, magnificent. Thank you very, Thank you very, very much. much. I hope you've enjoyed your week and going to continue to I do am. so. Thank you very much. A good man. You chaps can have your beer, and I'm going to go with the last little bit of burger. So I'm going to cheers all of you. Here you go. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, Peter, everybody. have a little sip of beer cheers. to see you out. Thanks all. <laughs> cheers, guys. Cheers.